Well, another player here in the Valley had a similar injury, but luckily he survived. ABC 15's Monica Lempert has more now on how he hopes his story will help others. Come on, Elijah. I see you, 2 5. It's a sport that, was good. that runs in Connor Pose's blood. Football is very, it's a very big thing in our family. That's why playing in high school was a no brainer until one football practice last year brought it all to a halt. Black. I just saw black for a few seconds. I stood there, I was dizzy. It looked like the floor was moving. Connor suffered a concussion that took him out of the game at the peak of his senior year. It's these types of injuries Hamilton head coach Steve Bellis takes very serious. He wanted to play, but the bottom line is, you know, his head wasn't ready to play. Now, if he's in a three... Although it was heartbreaking for him to see, Bella says there are more important things in life. In the long run, you got a full life. You know, you want to get married, you want to have kids, you want to see grandkids. So, in the long scheme, the, uh, football plays a very small role for most kids. But Connor isn't like most kids. He had dreams of playing in college. I, I think I made the right choice not playing. <sighs> that he now hopes his younger brother can carry on. I'd, I'd tell him right now to go all for it. Uh, just make sure it's what he wants to do, follow his dreams, pursue it, do everything he can to do it. Monica Lempert, ABC 15 News. And coming up tonight at 6, we're going to talk with Connor's parents about their decision to allow their younger son to play after watching their oldest survive a concussion.